Uh, Prop Cause, Palmer Squares, Hall of Famers. Let's give it right now. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that hope will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. Fuck a goopy, guzzling another brewski, fumble rooski, wonder what it doesn't do we, up to no good, stacking like a fucking phone book, blunt ash and what's happening is what I hoped would, you know the flow good, let's smoke a bowl, let's slow the motion, we coast to coasting, you'll grab a boat and hit the ocean, yeah it's the season, come on in the water freezing, swim with the fishes, I think I just went off the deep end, I'm kinda decent, routinely pledging my allegiance, surprisingly we set the bar and people try to reach it, it's rhino season, proceed without a rhyme or reason I'm a violent heathen, breathing fire with his tires screeching Low wages, a doctor who got no patience Slow paces, impossible to go places Occasionally, this feels like a presto track <laughs> Stay lit, my nostril where the cocaine is A tad looted, rap with the track muted Grad student hit the classroom and act stupid Dream lucid, scream while your teeth loosen Elusive when I speak, cue my theme yeah, That almost sounds like Webby Yeah, yeah it does Webby, Chris Webby stage In a vast cosmic arena <laughs> Is Chris Think Webby proud guys? Proud cause of MC or a group? Spilled by all those No, Webby's, Webby's his own thing so that in glory and triumph, awesome. they can become the momentary the momentary the the of a fraction of a dot. A super villain, I'm Mr. Freeze, I'm super chillin', I'm superstitious, smoke weed before I do the dishes, got superpowers, could make an ounce of flowers vanish, pull tabs of acid out my hat, yeah, now that's some magic, you can't imagine, it's acumenal back in action, captivate the audience and offer satisfaction, flabbergasted, basking in the happenstance, hatching a master plan, asking for a cash advance, Ooh, yo, what's dope. the demo, no, I don't wanna hear your demo, matter of fact, would you mind playing the instrumental? I'm out my mental. I need a rental till I find it. The rain no sign is coming back. I guess I'll have to buy it. Steal a van overseas. I'm trying to see Japan. Off the beaten path, speeding in the street again. I'm finally the man. Dreaming like I'm Peter Pan. Rolling reef and known to blow sativa by the kilogram. I'm out the glacier, breaking all the laws of nature. I'm trying to savor all the flavors. I don't need a chaser. Leave a crater like meteor. I'm a mediator. Walk away or take a shot and do us all a favor. Treat a hater with love, I'm above a piece of paper Automated, playing God, am I the Lord and Savior? So warn the neighbors, I'm balling out like I bought the Lakers Coffin nails and caution tape for all betrayers Hall of Famer, call to play like I'm Frank Gifford Shapeshifter, thumbnail, split the grape Our posturings Yeah, lyrical fitness Our imagined self-importance Was that the end of it? Just them too? Yeah. I hope not. Like a pop punk jam? Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, he's got a little pop punk, punk outro on this one. A little poppy for me. Yeah, I actually can't listen to it. <laughs> It reminds me of Dead Milkman. You ever heard of the Dead Milkman? No. Yes. Like I it's like I I, yes. I like I liked them when I was like nine. You know? Didn't they? They had because they're they're from the eighties and the early nineties. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I sure do. You, you, you remember when I made you play like that that Christian ska music and you got so furious? Oh, I just I was like, yeah, this is a good. Hey. You oh, got Jesus. so bad. Well, who was that? Five Five Iron Friends. Yeah. Friend. I I had a friend in high school. His name was Tim Scott. Right now, he's the bass player of Methane. And no I shit, eh? Thrash metal band out of Sweden. Oh yeah, yeah. They're on tour That's... right now. But, uh, nice. no kidding. Tim Scott, all of that thrash, punk, all of that stuff that I was exposed to when I was a teenager in high school, 
He played yeah. it yeah. all for me. That's how I know that fucking song because he played it for me. I think that's why I like. I think it's why I like Cypress Hill so much since I was young, young kid. Like before, I was oh, yeah. even into punk rock or or hip hop or anything. I, I was hearing Cypress Hill. We're talking like eighty nine, ninety, ninety one Cypress Hill tunes or ninety two, right. maybe whatever it was. And I haven't. I hadn't even really developed my love for punk rock yet, but I appreciated that. Like Cypress Hill loves metal, dude. Like they, I'd be real. He loves metal, dude. I guarantee you, they all do. A DJ Muggs, oh, yeah, I guarantee yeah. he, he. I mean, that that's that's how they came up with a uh, 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 rock superstar. Yeah, that shit. Went mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, hard. right? Metal, exactly. They have a band on stage, and yeah. that shit's cool as fuck. But uh, yeah. uh, you know, I love that track. I love Palmer Squares. They flow hard. It was just kind of physical fitness or like lyrical fitness, barring, barring out. Not a lot of like besides like, you know, being the the life of the party and then having people react to you that was really all you could grab from it which is kind of like a metaphor for like lyrical fitness bars like just kind of like rolling through the bars not really anything was there a point of the track did you guys notice or was it just bars just heavy bars it, it sounded like bars out? to me man yeah, yeah just bars I mean, everybody so just, you know i like that i like that though it. Yeah, the circle fitness, and I, can, and I appreciate that. It's almost like a workout, like an exercise, which you know, I like. I, I'll give that a solid seven five. I could, I could listen to that all day, all day. I could, I could put that on the car and just roll to that. You know, drive six kilometers on that track. You know, that's what I'll do. I like it. What are you guys saying? Uh, seven for yep. me. Um, I mean, the uh, I liked it. I wouldn't turn it off. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. Although, okay, I take it back. I will say um, the. Uh, what I did like was that the the separate verses, even though it was just kind of a you know maybe a, a bar fitness track, um, each verse was different, and it wasn't just like four verses of like I'm the dopest. And it was back. You know, and forth. they were they they were they were different, and so you know the uh, which you're like. Those tracks can be fun in their own right, but if if they don't hit, then it's like oh, enough of that, you know. Yeah. But if it does hit, yeah. then it's like yeah, all right, that's great, you know. So, yeah. but so I, I did appreciate right, right. that, despite the fact like the the verses were were different in their content. So, right on. That's what's up, Joe. What do you think? Uh, well, you know, I, I, I was trying to wait to go last because the other two guys are veterans and I'm new to the cast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, Ignacio, but, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> your mic's off, Ignacio, buddy. Or something happened to your mic. It says your mic's on, but we can't hear you. Uh, there we go. go. Yeah, 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 there you go. Go ahead. Yeah, what are okay. you saying? There we go. Okay, so... Um, I, I, actually ha- I actually had it up pretty high. And then that punk shit came in. <laughs> well, that I don't think that I don't think I think that can't be hold against the tune because it was separate. It was. Hey, separate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is not is punk, my, by the way. That is this punk. Is my, hey, man. This is my. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> and, and and the fact that Presto said that it was an outro for this track it needs me to believe that it was purposely put at the end of the track. So, I was doing well. They were barring it up. The beat was dope. Everything was going great. Yeah. And then that shit came in. That was what you call emo. That was emo. The antithesis. Okay. Well, I'm just rock. I'm just going by what it says here. Pop punk outro. So. Well, it was pop punk outro. Deb Milkman, dude. Like it was kind of like funny at the same time as emotional. Deb mm. Milkman. That that like, describes him perfectly. Yeah. What are you saying, Joe? Well, um. I love the track. I, I, I thought, you know, they barred it up. They killed it. Um, I was bobbing my head to it. I was feeling it. Um, everything was in line with that with that song. And I think when they when they threw in the, uh, the the punk rock track at the end, it just took me back to Pollywog Stew from the Beastie Boys, man. So hip hoppers, they can play other other types of music, man. I'm with it. Were so, they you know, playing they the pop punk? They were playing the pop punk. Okay, let's listen to this I show. Don't, I, I have no idea. Let's well, fucking listen to said, this. Show. said, said play. Term, term K's dad was in a was in a punk band. Let's listen to this shit. Let's just like maybe it's maybe we're missing something. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's only a minute. He says it's them. Reminds me of Dead Milkman, dude. 
and like uh, the the adolescents. Let's so say and, yes, it's uh, them. It is them, so we should listen to them. Love song, like a pop punk love song. 90s pop punk. Five Iron Frenzy, exactly. Same type of vibe. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought, but it's still like, uh, it was a pop punk soon. And I've never, I, Listen, I, I guess I, I you could so say, but I, I don't know what to classify that as because pop, there's some pop punk I, I, I like. Like, I like Blink 182 and Green Day. Like, I like those guys. You know? What, like what are you it. saying, Joe? I, I, listen, if, 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 you, if you separate the punk tune from the hip hop joint, I'm going to give the hip hop joint, I'm going to give it a, a eight. Yeah, good call. Yeah. The punk, the punk outro, I like punk music. You know, like I said. Good. Um, the, 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 the lead singer and the bassist for Methane introduced me to punk back when I was like 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? Right on. Um, okay. So all the Dead Milkman and all of that stuff that I listened to. Joe, day, Joe, fuck stay you. Stay with me. Meet stay me with halfway me. and fly to San Francisco for <laughs> for fucking no effects. September 16th this year. Fly to San Francisco. Oh, no, you're in Virginia. You're not in Texas anymore. Fuck. I keep on forgetting that you're in Virginia. I, 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 I'll be I'll be in Texas at, at the beginning of September. Okay, well, hopefully it works out. Uh, Prob cause, Papa Squares, Hall of Famers, and anybody not give their two cents on that or no, everyone's everybody, done. Everybody did. Mm-hmm. Okay, hundred percent say yes. That is going on the playlist. So we now have some uh, pop punk rock from the nineties. Dead Milkman style pop punk rock on the playlist. So that we got that. We got.